three that he's won, I believe. All right, so Scott oh, versus Kamehameha. Here we go. Back on the Mega Man. All right, Kamehameha in the traditional uh, red Mega Man that you normally see from him. Scott in the 2D colors, mm -hmm. black and uh, yellow. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. I, I was thinking more of a B. Yeah. I had to stay on theme, you know? <laughs> I mean, we, this is 2G, right? We yeah, yeah. work out that one. But great wall jump. He tried to go for the down air. He went for a wall jump, down air, and that pellet actually hit. I wasn't expecting to hit. It looks like it hit the stage instead, but it's going to be a test. You can see it. Kamehameha already taking a lot of damage, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking for Scott to just throw him off the stage and then go for an edge guard. He's at the percent where he can definitely get the stock. But uh, let's see if Kamehameha can turn that in his favor. Because mm -hmm. Mega Man's got great comeback potential, as we saw from Piedmont. Yeah. He was able to do so much with these projectiles. And he air dodges the crash bomb. Good on him. But here come the lemon trades that we're going to see Yeah, a lot. it's just so funny seeing them both as, like, neutral A into each other over and over. Mm -hmm. So oh. definitely um, what I want Scat to be careful of is that when he was going against Sonic Vega, there were many times where he would just run into Sonic Shield, try to bait on air dodge. Yeah. He tried doing that against Kamehameha, and Kamehameha yeah, yeah. just grabbed him. It's, uh... Maybe not going to be as scared in that situation. Uh -huh. uh oh, what he's going to do with this metal blade? He's looking for something. Mm -hmm. I like how he's just hanging onto it with the Z drops. Yeah, and they both got to hang oh. on. To it. Actually, oh my up. goodness, they both threw it at the same <laughs> time, <laughs> and it clanked. Uh huh. Oh my god, that's so good. For and there we go. The back air yes, from Scat takes back it. So All right, Scat, seeing if uh, he can prove what he said before. Let but that hit confirm. Yeah, from so far away, like almost uh, mid screen there. Mm -hmm. Does so much. That's Kamehameha. Oh. Once he gets an opening, he's able to confirm into so much. 19%, 25, 34. Oh, it's disgusting. Yeah, he's very, very technically sound as usual. Both of these guys, really. Like, remember you usually saying that the whoever takes the first stock wins? Yeah. Kamehameha instantly just fires back. Exactly. Stock. He recognized that he can't let Scab build a big lead, so he immediately got that stock. And here we go into the metal blade into the leaf shield. Oh my shield. goodness, so much damage. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my god, is that parry. the parry into turn around yes. up tilt? I like that he recognized that he had to turn around his up tilt to get that too. And uh, that is knowing the timing of Mega Man's falling aerials really well to get a parry like that. Yeah, and he actually, Scat tried to go for a backer in order to try to interrupt Kamami, but unable to find anything. Leaf shield back out, but it's not safe for that close. Oh, <laughs> nice. I mean, oh, man, he's tried to scare him into doing a spot dodge or a roll there. Mm -hmm. But Kamehameha's not afraid. No, not at all. Okay. Goes high this time. Uh-huh. He goes very high, but they're, oh, oh. they're both <laughs> ran away. And just oh, my God. And Kamehameha plays. ducks under the pellets. Oh, See, okay. there. Well, up to might not have killed, actually. I thought he would go for it. They're both until. going so oh. low. Oh, no. He thought he would go in front of uh -huh. him, but Kamehameha just stays still and gets the grab of his own. Crash bomb to cover his recovery, but oh, the metal went into the up tilt. Whew. And if there's Kamehameha, we oh, talk man. about his kill confirms with that metal blade. Yes, so solid, dude. <laughs> Scat crying a bit. But Kamehameha on fire. Yeah. It's just funny how good he is at the ditto, even though he really doesn't like to play yeah. it. Like, if you see him versus another Mega Man, he's going to counterpick, like, Wolf, Wario, Sheik. Like, he'll do anything to until, avoid. until yeah. he has to, is forced to do the ditto. But he's so good at it. It's just like when he's pinned against the corner, he's like, fine. I'll yeah, yeah he's like, Mega fine, Man. fine. I'll give the people what they want. Uh -huh. I'll ditto another Mega Man. I'll play the character I'm good yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, I'll play the character that I'm known for. All right, so round two, Kamehameha versus Scat. It was very close to the beginning, but Kamehameha ended up with that parry. I think that was what the game just Oh, changed. yeah, beautiful parry on the forward air to turn on up to. And Momentum definitely was in his favor from that point. Uh-huh. So but these fair strings, speaking of Wolf, oh those fair strings looking pretty good. And the oh. down air, is that enough? No, he had the double jump saved. Of course, man, these top level Mega Mans, they're always going to save the double jump for as long as possible. I mean, it's just so good because instead of double jumping, you use your up special first, and yep. then you can jump out of it. That's how good this recovery is. And even if you get hit, you get your up special back. Yes. Oh. Scary situation. Almost got the landing punch, but Scat. Oh, oh <gasps> reversal with the pellet off stage. And great crash from there. That was really close. Kamehameha, great job by him realizing that Scat was in a position to be hit. But great job by Scat to fire back and return. In order to oh. keep himself safe, that back air needs to be careful. Oh, nice wall jump. We're going to throw him off the stage now. Let's see what he can do with this crash bounce setup. Oh, 
He's in the corner now, Kamehameha applying so much pressure. Oh, good delay there, yeah. recognizing he didn't get the right hit of the middle blade uh -huh. to get a combo. Oh my god, he thought, <laughs> he, would, it up. he thought he would explode from the crash bomb into the forward smash. Mm -hmm. So both of them resetting back into the neutral. Both of those saw blades. If Kamehameha is going to get a saw blade confirmed, it's going to come up, but barely misses out on it. And that backer did oh, get all the hits. He couldn't punish because he had the saw blade in his mm -hmm. hand. That would have been an up tilt otherwise. Yeah, that's one of the punishing things in this game. If you have an item, so strong. But if you're trying to get a punish, sometimes you do an item out of shield, which isn't the strongest one you want. Yeah. And here comes the edge guard. What do we oh, find? The crash bomb crash covers bomb. it. They're both playing so patiently. They, again, know how important first stock is in the ditto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scott has a decent lead, oh but God. he can't find the stock. Oh, my he goodness. He transferred the crash bomb into the ledge and guns the back throw as well. Not enough, though. It's not the strongest back throw. Yeah, especially on Mega Man, but he Ooh. caught him dropping shield. The one second he dropped shield, that was enough. But, but there's he's fired. back at him. Some back. Fires right back at him. Another buster shot for a buster shot. Buster. Again, Knife these guys are trading the first stock back and forth. Mm -hmm. and no one can eye. get a lead. An eye for an eye, especially in this Mega Man oh, oh, nice jab block setup. That was so clean. I like that, Scat. Showing what Kamehameha was there. And that grab range, it's a bit of a struggle sometimes. So going for this neutral exchange, looking for an opening. Both players really want to find it, that fourth throw to get him oh. off. What's the option for the edge guard? And that bear misses anything. And the back throw, once again, we're seeing a lot of offstage gameplay, and I like it. They're really yeah. both realizing that they're both super good at edge guarding. Oh, Try my read goodness. The got the neutral to get a punish. Oh, oh, goes for down it. Oh, my the God. Bomb. What the heck? Yo, okay, normal people go for a back air to get the air dodge punish, but he goes for a crash bomb set up from the down air spike. That was sick. Let's I mean, see if uh, Scott can hold on to his lead because that was a super yeah, big as, stock. As smart as command. Oh. And here comes the jab block setup. Not enough. Not a high enough percent yeah. for the sweet spot to kill. Oh, oh he almost got ledge yeah, trump. He DI'd in on the stage to avoid getting ledge trump punish. Uh -huh. Crash bomb setup. Catch. Scott's turning up. No sweet spot on the up tilt. That's big. That's really big. Unable to find that sweet spot setup. Kamehameha is in big trouble right now. And the parry, got to parry them all. Yeah. Go off stage again. Kamehameha's playing patiently. Almost get the middle blade snipe, but again, Scat's playing so smart at the ledge of the stage. Mm -hmm. Coming back to center. And you also saw that Kamehameha baited. He tried to bait the ledge trump by walking forward and then jumping back, but not able to find it. What's the punish? Not able to find the edge guard. Scat's doing such a great job in this matchup, though. Oh, nice shot again. And the crash bomb used oh, once more. I oh. thought that up till was coming. Uh-huh. Scat's been doing so well at reading these rolls from ledge. Yes. And do we see it again? He, yes, he he's waiting out. him out. He's playing at the perfect distance at the ledge to react to most things. And, and there's the snipe the, from the aerial. I know it's not going to be enough. He has the middle blade in his hand, though, but clanks but into the untackable forward air stage spike. Two stock from Scat. Like, this game's going to game three just like I expected. These guys are both so amazing when it comes to playing Mega Man. That second stock was just amazing. For yeah, Scott. that down air into Crash Bomb was insane. Was it on purpose? I think the down air coverage was definitely on purpose, but, but the, the Crash, crash bomb, bomb being there yeah. was just icing on the cake. I look at these rumbles. Yeah. He's got a plan, he's got a plan coming up, but Kamehameha is not going to roll over that easily. Oh no, this is still anyone's game mm -hmm. for sure. But uh, Kamehameha does lose this. That means he was lost to the ditto to both uh, Team Nut and Scat today. Both but we'll see. Scat and Team Nut. Both looking pretty fresh on these Mega Man though. So. Yeah. They were playing so much last night in the hotel room. I didn't see Kamehameha play that much with them, I think. Uh-huh. But uh, yeah, all of them were playing the ditto for hours on end. So not only are they practicing the matchup, they know exactly how the other players are playing the character. So they're, they're prepared for these dittos, huh? Yeah, yeah, for and, sure. And also helps that, you remember, like you said, Kamehameha doesn't like these ditto matches. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, too, because, like, Scat also was complaining about the ditto, too. Like, he was uh, contemplating going his snake in the instead of the ditto mm -hmm. in like a tournament match anyway. But uh oh no, I still like to see him play the ditto. He's still very proficient at it. And no snakes allowed. Yeah, yeah, no one. no snakes no snakes here. Yeah. Again, these guys going back and forth really even in the percentage. Cool. Oh. Yeah, and great parry. That's a flex move by Kamehameha yeah, yeah, at this he's point. So consistent at getting that. Uh-huh. And here comes the fourth throw. He's gonna look oh. for a saw blade setup, yeah. He's always looking for it. Nice Aww. snipe. He still has a middle blade in play. Look at this. Oh coverage. my god, that was beautiful. Look at that coverage from Kameme. It's incredible what he can do. And if the pattern follows, whoever gets the first stock wins the game. 
but the last game we saw there, evening it up That's back and true. forth really quickly. But look at these strings coming in from those jabs, the four, four tilt jab, same thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, same thing. Okay, good. Same, same input. Same input, same thing. They both do the same job, and right now, Scat, he's on the back there right now. He's the one who's forced to make a move, and Kameme is capitalizing yes. on that, that back throw. Yeah, Kameme recognized that he wasn't able to build a lead last time. Oh. Up smash, still not enough. Mega Man is pretty heavy, but there's oh, the there shot again, catching the landing. Let's see if Scott can bring it back. Uh huh. So great use of the Z dropping. I like that. Using these metal blades. He just caught it. He's throwing it back right at him, picking it up. Oh, oh he my tried goodness. to go for the setup. He's going to go I for the lead, the lead shield. shield. Yep. The same old. It's the same old, but we're kind of oh forced to because this is a ditto. Yeah. But uh, man, Kamehameha's ledge pressure is oh insane. He yeah. hasn't let Scott get back to the center stage for like almost 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. And that that was a saw blade setup, but great job by Scott. He's able oh. to get back. Oh, no confirm off that one, though. He's safe for now. Yeah, very close, though. So Kamehameha back, back throw. Off stage. What does Scott do? Oh, uh, Kamehameha's so quick. Uh -huh. He doesn't let him do anything. There's a crouch. Yeah, he's crouching. He knows exactly. He knows. Even Scott tries to do it, too. It's just that Kamehameha is so on point with these confirms. Wow. He knows exactly what Scott wants. Did you see that he caught the metal blade when Scott threw uh -huh. it at him with the neutral air? So good. It's oh, so good. great use of the leave shield in order to in order to cover his recovery. Yeah, he almost got hit out of it. Uh huh. But he's fine for now. Trying to use the F smash. Oh man. But or, he, yeah, he's at such a huge percent deficit that he has to approach, and then approaching just gets him killed. Mm -hmm. And Kamami knows exactly what it is. And even if they trade it, Kamami wins in the end because that fair kills her. Exactly. Scott, though, he's not out of this just yet. Uh-huh. Crash oh, bomb man. transferred over into the confirm off of that. Looking for the edge guard. Oh, another one's catching all these double jumps. Forcing him to go low, but he still has really good ledge awareness. Okay. Where's he going to go? Uh, he's going to land the grab. Scott needs this edge guard if he wants oh, to Oh, my this. God. He caught the metal blade, threw it up, oh. angled, and got it. <laughs> what the heck? You can't. That is – are you – Turn around that edge guard so well in his favor. It's insane. Kamehameha is just like, you caught me slipping game two, not game three. Not at all, but there's a the clean back air. 74%. Mm -hmm. He can definitely bring this back. Oh, yeah, he this is far from impossible, especially with Mega Man. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Hold the whiffing grabs a different direction. Can't believe it. Yeah. Only in the Mega Man ditto. Only Mega Man ditto. Well, they both have the same plan. Leaf Shield used right now. Even though Scat knows he's behind, he's got four minutes on the clock. He's got time in order to get that chip damage. But Kamehameha, I think he really wants it. He caught it again. Yeah, he's so good at that. It's insane. Oh, man, I, I definitely need Scat to throw him off the stage and get a really uh, good edge guard. guard. Let that confirm. It's so hard. Uh-huh. And he's off stage. What's the oh. confirm? I think nope. he went for a Z drop, but it's yeah. stuck to the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to be okay for now. The Crash Bomb set up, trying to go in there. The F Smash unable to find its mark, but Scat's getting oh chipped out. Oh, and he's barely living. And, and there's a back air snipe from deep. Kamehameha takes it 2-1 over Scat.